everyone and welcome to this week's video. Now we are going to be talking about the important question, the question that we all need answers. Can jellyfish die? <laughs> so we are back with another live session and I was thinking okay I've got a limited amount of time we need to do something that answers a question that that I haven't covered before in the channel it needs to be something exciting and something that I can do in a short amount of time and of course thinking about this the very question of can jellyfish die popped into my head because that's the obvious thing I would want to talk about isn't it? Of course. So um, we're going to be chatting about that today. Now, if anyone watching live, feel free to ask questions. I will answer them. But for anyone not watching, stick around because I've got like a bonus, a bonus thing at the end to, to chat about to do with these facts. And it's going to be even cooler. So jellyfish, they are wibbly wobbly tubber blobs that live in the sea but they are far, far cooler than that. And I remember learning this fact, which is why it popped into my head, watching a documentary at my granddad's house. I don't know who else has had granddads like that that have like documentaries always on. And I was just really relieved that the documentary that was on was on awesome jellyfish. And it's stuck in my mind for so long about this jellyfish thing. But it was something I remember watching when I was like really young. And I wondered, if is it? Is it true still? Is it still true that jellyfish, um, well, about whether they die or not? So we are, uh, yes, let me answer it. Let me get on with it. Let me get on with it. So jellyfish have a life cycle, like most things, where you start with um, polyps that live on the seafloor. They are like, imagine a plant, and that plant, just like a normal flower, um, instead of leaves and a flower, the flower is a tiny jellyfish that lives there and buds off. So when it gets old, it becomes a, the flower disappears, becomes a jellyfish and flies away or swims away. It doesn't fly. We're in the sea and the flower doesn't fly anyway. Anywho. So it does this. And basically when it when it buds off, it becomes what is like a toddler, which is called an epiphray going with um and it grows up becomes medusa which is a really really cool name um and this medusa is a jellyfish that is the jellyfish the thing that we all know as jellyfish the could be huge could be tiny stinging thing that goes through the water now at this point you get two jellyfish together they can what it's called is like sexually reproducing so when the genetic material comes from two jellyfish and that can then form a medusa, not a medusa, a polyp again at the bottom of the sea. And that starts the life cycle again. Now, when that happens, that jellyfish reproduces and goes off and can live its life. It does not become immortal at this point. That jellyfish does not go off and then live forever. However, it has a really cool feature thing that can happen if it gets a bit stressed out as a medusa in one, in one species only one but i think that's pretty cool it's a pretty special species so for most jellyfish that is their life they will go off probably be eaten by a turtle live to whatever age jellyfish live which i'm not quite sure anyone knows but not forever and then its children will grow up and carry on and that is how it survives but um for this one species and i'm going to butcher the latin name troctis donnery it's a different story. If you get Troctus donnery, which is a tiny little jellyfish, it is only like, it's 4.5 millimetres when it's an adult. It's the tiny, tiny little fingernail. Tiny little jellyfish. Like, it's going to rule the world. It's going to be there long after we are gone. And it's going to be a planet of jellyfish. Because they are classed as biologically immortal. Immortal. So... You have the same thing with the polyps at the bottom, becomes the epiphray, the little toddler uh, jellyfish, and then it becomes the medusa. And at this point, if it gets stressed out, so jellyfish particularly don't like salinity changes. So if the water gets too fresh or too salty, stresses them out, kind of makes sense. It's like us being, you know, in a really hot environment, I suppose, a bit like temperature, we'd get really stressed out. It's kind of the same, but with chemicals and chemicals, you know 
vicinity doesn't like it so at this point it goes uh oh i could die from this i could get far too salty i ain't gonna have fun so what it does is it just goes back to the toddler stage the mind-blowing so when we have cells like cells in our body when we become adults or when we grow up the majority of the time that cell is that cell it is the cell that is um a muscle becomes a muscle cell. If it's a nerve cell, becomes a nerve cell. There is no interchanging. If if something's wrong with your nerve cells or something wrong with your muscles, you can't swap them. You can't tell another cell to become that and replace it, um, which is largely why we have lots of different conditions and stuff that are specifically linked to different things because our cells don't change. These things can. These can go backwards. They recycle their cells. They can go, right, we're not happy as an adult. We're going to back this up. We're going to go back to the toddler stage. And then we're basically going to protect ourselves if it gets super bad and become what is known on this diagram that I'm looking at now as a ball of cells. They take it right back to the bare minimum, the bare basics, and then they'll grow up again as polyps, which means that although the adults can die, so it doesn't mean they're immortal. You know, they can still get eaten. Diseases can still affect them. If they get stressed out, they just go, I'm good. I'm just going to come go backwards. They'll go down, wait for the conditions to get better, and then they'll come right back up as a thing. So it's it's basically, unless you catch them and kill them or eat them, they are immortal because that's the same individual who's just decided to become a baby and start again. So you they have not seen this in the world because how do you track that like how do you track something dropping to the bottom of the sea and becoming a thing but they've tried it in a lab and it's worked and what is the cool thing about this as well is that these are really good hitchhikers it's not a good thing because um what i study is like the invasive species movement and when ships travel across the world they take in a load of water to help stabilize them called ballast and they're great at living in that um there's a number of rules like stuff like a kilometer i think it's a kilometer offshore you have to dump your ballast to make sure that you're not bringing species into the waters of your country um lots of different rules like that but these guys have traveled around the world and we've not worked at the genetics of it yet but um like they don't know if if maybe there's a couple of different very similar species but this thing is found pretty much around the world so this tiny little thing finger nail sized jellyfish that can live forever can also live around the oceans of the entire planet long after we are gone hail the jellyfish or they are going to be there living forever and i'm not mad about it in fact i'm quite pleased i would love to see an ocean full of ickle baby jellyfish and just laughing they'll probably be left with cockroaches and potentially cats cats are very clever i feel like whatever happens cats will live plus they've got nine lives they might not be immortal but they've got a they've got a pretty good run through so i said stick around to the end because there's an extra thing so we've got um jayfish and then they've got your vet they're very 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 close cousins hydra which are basically the same but not quite as the polyps at the bottom they look like plant versions of jellyfish that that it's like a stalk with a jellyfish on the end they don't turn into jellyfish that's just how they live their entire lives now these guys don't age i've just decided not to they're like i'm good i'd rather just live forever i can't get my head around not aging so the actual term of it is called is it some so senescence yes senescence so senescence is things age in our body we get old we can regenerate cells but it's kind of like a limited time some of the things won't regenerate we'll get older you know it's just aging like the actual fancy word for getting old and we can't fix that because that's just how we are however these guys have done something to what is called the fox o gene so a lot of animals i think all animals have fox o genes they're genes that control the aging they basically is like right okay how many goes have we got to this how much energy can we put into making new cells how long can the cells that are there live and survive for how long which ultimately leads to how long they're going to live hydra have tons of these fox o genes that's they don't know quite how it's working but they just have lots of them and they said when they took them away they start aging but because they've just got so many like 
I can just imagine these Foxo genes being in our bodies, being like, right, okay, I'm just overworked. Like they're fine at the start, they're doing all these jobs. And then as time goes on, they're just getting like more and more tired trying to do it. And they're like, oh, and at some point they're just like, it's too much, I'm overworked. I, I can do no more. However, these have new workers. So it's like a worker turning up for one shift. They have to work one day in their life. And they're like, oh, this is great. I'm good. Next one comes along, works the next day. And that just keeps on happening. So they can technically like live forever. I couldn't find like the longest lived thing. They're not really things that are kept as pets. You know, these hydra living in a lab. Even then, you probably didn't know about it for that long. I mean, how do you measure that? How do you find out that something could technically live forever and backtrack that when it is just a jelly blob? There are ways that you can age fish and trees. Very similar, actually. Maybe we should do a video on that. Little bonus factoid. You look at the otoliths and fish ear, which are like little calcium stones. Cut them open. Count the rings like a tree. Um, but obviously, you can't do that with them fish is there is living but uh again like counting tree rings it's not the best method <laughs> for doing it when they're alive okay that is the video on can jellyfish live forever in summary one species can it's probably gonna be enough to make sure that jellyfish are one of the last things on the planet with cats and their nine lives um, but Hydra will live forever. So if the jellyfish and the Hydra team up, if they're, they're family members, if they get on, they'll probably be happy to do that, though they will need food still. So they're going to have to become friends with some sort of planktonic living thing, which really they've got a good bet for that. Like of all of the things that are going to be able to live, I thought plankton, um, like a small thing in the ocean, you got the best chance of, of hopefully, of of something in the vast millions of types of plankton, something living. Um, so I can't guarantee that that's going to happen, but it may it may do. <laughs> okay, uh, just a quick thing about the lives. I'm trying to balance it out a bit. I'm going to get some nice stuff to try and jazz up the lives a bit, um, and I will keep trying to do them every Wednesday as I kind of balance working a lot of the time with doing my PhD but exciting stuff is coming up um oh I can't say what's coming up yet I can't say I was gonna say it then I can't say just yet I'll be able to say very soon so keep an eye on my social medias next Wednesday we're having a guest I can say that we are having a guest on the channel and it will be leading up to something uh later on and it will be different and fun and amazing and uh, I'm very excited for it so if you're around next Wednesday 8 p.m for the surprise guest doing a different thing a very different thing I've never done anything like this on my channel before I am so excited okay have a great evening everyone and I will see you next Wednesday for another video bye